<coughs> Hello, welcome to another noisy story with Boombastic Boops. Hello there, my name is David, the children's assistant at Hamilton Townhouse Library, and I have a wee story for you. It's called The Runaway Pea. Look, here he is here. The story is written by Kjartan Poskett and is illustrated by Alec Wilmore. The book is published by Simon & Schuster. I hope that you enjoy the story. It's six o'clock and we're ready for tea. But look, what's that? It's a runaway pea. He pinged off the plate with incredible force and then slipped and went splat in a puddle of sauce. The carrots and beans were all laughing with glee. You didn't get far, you piddling pea. Just watch, said the pea. I've hardly begun. I might only be small, but I want to have fun. The pea shot away with a skip and a hop. And then into the dog bowl he fell with a plop. Climb, little pea, climb up the side. Quick before Boris's mouth opens wide. The runaway pea jumped amazingly high and so nearly landed in Boris's eye. Yay! He rolled Yay! along Boris's back in a flash, but a flick of the tail sent him flying off. Splash! Where am I? He wondered. His head really hurt. It's my tank, said Adele with a squirt. He fell on a mouse trap, which snapped with a bang, and he bounced off a cobweb that stretched and went twang. He came to a rest on a high, dusty shelf. So far, so good, smiled the pea to himself. Surely there's nothing else left to go wrong. Then a fan started up, and it blew him along. And what's that below with an orangey glow? It's the slot in the top of the toaster. Oh no! In the pea fell, unable to stop. Then the toaster pinged up with an almighty pop. Ow! cried the pea. My bottom's on fire! As he flew straight on into the tumbling dryer. Buffered and battered and bounced all about, the pea was so glad when he finally got out. He collapsed on a shirt that had newly been washed Look out, little pea, or you're going to get squashed. He tumbled and rolled along out of control, under the fridge to a dark, sticky hole. Too weary to move, he just let out a groan. Then got a strange feeling he wasn't alone. Out of the gloom came mysterious shapes, a dried up banana and two mouldy grapes. Oh dear, said the pea, what happened to you? We were naughty, they said. We all ran away too. We don't recommend it, they whispered quite sadly. You'll get old and wrinkled and start to smell badly. I've changed my mind, said the runaway pea. I'll get back on that plate and be ready for tea. Oh, you won't, said the grapes, because you've been on the floor. Runaway pea, you're not loved anymore. The little pea trembled, he knew it was true. There was nowhere to go for him, nothing to do. Helpless and hopeless and feeling forlorn, his tired eyes closed and he gave a big yawn. But a magic thing happened while he was asleep. He woke up beside the recycling heap. The soil was soft and the weather was sunny. And soon the pea started to feel a bit funny. Under the ground he was sprouting some roots, and out of his top he was shooting out shoots. The shoots all had pods, and inside every one was a party of new peas all bursting with fun. So if you should ever hear pop, pow, or spot, or a splosh in the sink, or a yow from the cat, or a rapperty tap in the cupboard, then please don't panic! It's only those runaway peas. Well, I love this story about the runaway pea. I think he has the right idea. I wouldn't want to be gobbled up either. I hope that you enjoyed the story, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.